Eastern Municipal Water District serves approximately 650,000 customers in Western Riverside County. The basic services that we offer our customers is uh, potable water and wastewater collection and treatment. And we also provide recycled water to customers. We have approximately 350 on-the-road vehicles that include sedans, half-ton pickup trucks, uh, service trucks, dump trucks, and over-the-road tractors. Uh, typical driving conditions that I encounter are uh, freeway, high speeds, uh, residential, and uh, school zones. As an everyday driver, I think the biggest safety concern is, is watching everybody else. If something does happen, if something uh, there's an accident in front of you, um, moving 55 miles an hour in a big truck like that, you have to have enough cushion around you. There was a lot of anxiety among the employees about having uh, GPS tracking on the vehicles. Uh, my first thought was that with having a GPS on my vehicle when I started working here was the concern of somebody constantly looking over my shoulder, feeling like no matter where I was at, I had somebody watching me. But it wasn't until we, after we implemented it and uh, they had some experience with it that they realized that it really was a benefit to them. I had a safety issue that was emailed to me from Network Fleet. There was no ABS light on, there was nothing to indicate to me that there was a problem with my brakes. The early um, warning signs that Network Fleet was able to give me was great because I had no warning signs in my truck. I was out at a location and uh, I acquired a, a flat tire. Well, I couldn't tell anybody where I was at because none of the streets were marked. So they were able to pull me up on GPS and send out help to fix the tire. Being out working alone and having somebody that's able to find you immediately in case of an emergency is invaluable. To be able to locate us from job to job and, and get us the resources that we need. So with GPS, it's, it's a great tool to have. The biggest areas of return on investment were reduction in miles driven, reduction in fuel used, and increased productivity in our employees. We are able to coach employees and to modify their driving habits, which has resulted in significant savings to the district in terms of uh, reduced accidents and reduced liability. Improvements in safety that we've seen since we've implemented Network Fleet include a marked decrease in vehicle accidents overall, a reduction in the number of accidents that have occurred on public right-of-way, and we've had no at-fault speed-related accidents since we implemented Network Fleet. Prior to GPS, we were paying claims in the range of $180,000 to $250,000 a year. In the last two years, we've paid less than $8,000 in vehicle-related claims because risk management and the insurance company have been able to use the tool to refute many false claims against the district. We had originally estimated that it would take six months to pay back the uh, system, but we actually paid it back in the first two and a half months of implementation. It keeps you aware of your driving conditions, it keeps you aware of your speed, it keeps you aware of you know, what you're doing, it, it keeps your mind on driving. I think for someone who has never worked at a company that has a GPS system, um, I think if they spend more time looking at the positives instead of the negatives, it, it's a great system for, for companies to have. Anyone that's considering using a GPS vehicle tracking should consider Network Fleet because it is an excellent product and they're an excellent company to work with.